This plant here is known for its unique properties and traditional use in natural medicine. I have come across a number of people asking me how to identify it from its, from its identical counterparts like this one. Of course, when identifying plants, we look at the leaves, we look at the flowers. If any, we look at the seeds, the stem. But one thing that sets this plant apart is the way it bears its fruit. It has its leaves alternating on the branch, as you can see. But when you turn on the back of that branch, you will realize that it has small fruits that are attached to the branch. It's these fruits that contain the seeds of this plant. The other plants that are similar to it do not have these little fruits at the back of their branches. Actually, in our area, the name that we call it is called Akabalida, which comes from the way it carries its fruit, so it, you can easily identify it by that. While it has counterparts that grow really tall, Stonebreaker only grows to around 70 centimeters tall. It's relatively a short plant. It is said to grow mainly in the tropics and where I live, since I live in the tropics, we do not we do not cultivate it. It easily self-seeds, so it spreads easily. Stonebreaker is known mainly for its ability to treat kidney stones, but it has many other benefits, like it, it's used in the treatment of diabetes, it's used for fever, it's used for skin diseases, it's used for wounds, it's used for jaundice, and many, many other things that it can be used for. So when I find it in the wild, I harvest it and prepare it for storage for later use. I either dry it using the oven or just air drying it. For this particular batch, I dried it in the oven. So you take your stone breaker that you have harvested and wash it thoroughly clean. Make sure you harvest also from places that are not sprayed with pesticides. So you, when you bring it home, you wash it. It is good if you can soak it in sodium bicarbonate for like 30 minutes. And then after washing it, you pat it dry and then you spread it on a baking tray and put it in the oven. So I set my oven to 50 degrees Celsius and uh, it was in the oven for about an hour and then I got it out, put it off the branches like that and I just put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes just to get that crunch and thereafter pack it. You can also dry it either by air or in a dehydrator. By air, you simply, after washing it and you, you've patted it dry, you just leave it on the counter, spread out properly on a tray, and in a few days, your stone breaker will be dry and ready for storage and use at the time of your leisure. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Tell us what you think of Stonebreaker, what do you use it for, what do you call it in your area. Until next time.